as is that Commonwealth Day was formally celebrated as Empire Day. Empire Day was first celebrated after the death of Queen Victoria on 24th May 1902 on the Queen's birthday. The words Empire Day describes a picture of a motherly Queen Victoria presiding over an empire which spanned almost a quarter of the entire globe. The year's first heat wave turns Empire Day into a pageant of glorious summer. At the last moment, their majesties, the King and Queen, decide to drive in an open carriage. And at St. Paul's, the summer dresses of the royal ladies add a brilliance to a royal occasion. The Duchess of Kent wears a wide fawn hat. Her Majesty Queen Mary is in ivory. The Royal Lando is drawn by the Windsor Greys with outriders and postillions. Her Majesty the Queen wears a gown and hat of powder blue with blue-tinted ostrich feathers at the shoulders, while the royal princesses are also in light blue. In 1958, Empire Day was rebadged as British Commonwealth Day, and in 1966, it became known as Commonwealth Day. The days of Commonwealth Day was also changed to 10th June, the official birthday of late Queen Elizabeth II. However, in 1973, the Royal Commonwealth Society proposed the day be changed and the second Monday in March was selected by the Commonwealth Secretariat as the observance of the day. Commonwealth Day is an annual celebration observed by people all over the Commonwealth in Africa, Asia, the Caribbean and Americas, and the Pacific and Europe. Observed on the second Monday in March each year, Commonwealth Day is an opportunity to promote the strong unity, diversity and shared values of the 56 Commonwealth member countries. Commonwealth Day was celebrated on the 13th March with observances, speeches, exhibitions and cultural events across the Commonwealth. Commemorations began with a wreath laying ceremony at the Commonwealth Memorial Gates in London to honour the men and women from the Commonwealth who served with the British Armed Forces during the First and Second World Wars. A multicultural multi-faith service was held at Westminster Abbey and attended by members of the royal family, senior officials, dignitaries and young people from across the Commonwealth. During the service, his Majesty King Charles III hailed the extraordinary potential of the Commonwealth in his first Commonwealth Day message as King and Head of the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth Secretary General, the Right Honourable Patricia Scotland KC, was then joined by Commonwealth leaders, ministers and youth representatives to raise the Commonwealth flag for peace and recognition of the 10th anniversary of the signing of the Commonwealth Charter. The Commonwealth family of 56 nations represent one-third of the global population, which is about 2.5 billion people, where 60% of the population is under 30 years old. These nations, though diverse in size and development status, share common beliefs and values where every member's contribution is significant. The 56 nations include some of the largest economies on Earth as well as its smallest islands. All celebrate their unity of vision and common commitments to peace and justice in an increasingly polarized world. The Commonwealth countries exports over $3 trillion in goods and services each year. Combined GDP is expected to reach $19 trillion in 2027. The Commonwealth accounts for about 14% of global export market. It competes favorably with the European Union at 15%, China at 14.5% and doing far better than the USA at 8.5%. The heir of the Commonwealth is King Charles III, Charles Philip Arthur George, King of the United Kingdom and the 14 other Commonwealth realms. The President of Rwanda, His Excellency Paul Kagame is the Chair in Office of the Commonwealth, while the Right Honorable Patricia Scotland KC is the 6th Commonwealth Secretary General. The Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting 2022 in Kigali, Rwanda. We are the most significant grouping of countries in the history of the world, which is bound above all by values which we all aspire to. Over 50 heads of government were welcomed by host and the new chair of the Commonwealth Committee, His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of Rwanda. We need to keep 
making sure that the Commonwealth, when we talk about the Commonwealth, we actually mean the Commonwealth. Uh, no one is left behind. Head of the Commonwealth, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, affirmed the collective power of the Commonwealth countries gathering together. Our Commonwealth family is, and will always remain, a free association of independent, self-governing nations. We meet and talk as equals, sharing our knowledge and experience for the betterment of all citizens of the Commonwealth and indeed the wider world. Commonwealth promotes collective action on strengthening democracy, trade, justice, human rights, good governance, gender equality, health, education, economic development, and empowering young people. Commonwealth Day is held every second Monday in March, and every Commonwealth member state is free to celebrate Commonwealth Day however they choose. We felicitate with the Commonwealth Global Family, Julie Darling Entertainment World, Abuja, Nigeria. Frontline Project Incorporated, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. DITN Telecoms, Abuja, Nigeria. Lexicon Multi Concept Media, Abuja, Nigeria. Onome Food Market, Abuja, Nigeria. Afro Global Television, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Development Associates Link International, Dali, Kampala, Uganda. And so, a Julie Darling Entertainment World, Abuja, Nigeria, is honoring the Commonwealth with the presentation of 15 national anthems of selected member countries in Africa. Nigeria, Rwanda, Kenya, and Uganda. In Asia, Singapore, India, and Malaysia. In the Caribbean and Americas, Canada, Bahamas, and Dominica. In Europe, United Kingdom, and Cyprus. In the Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, and Samoa.